Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the last episode, we made it to Sniffleheim after defeating a Lizardin. And I also acquired the Vest for Success from that one quest that uh, requires you to get a jackpot in the special roulette tables. Which to be honest, was a lot easier than I thought. I mean, heck, I almost lucked out on my second attempt. And then it only took me like 20 minutes of just fucking uh, doing the same number over and over and over again until I finally got it. But uh, anyway, let us um, continue on here. Need to go back to city. Interesting. Wonder why I just stopped there for a second. <laughs> I didn't want to stop. The room at the back of the church. Alright. All right. See what he has to say about our friend. Yeah, gold statues everywhere, man. Impressive. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I... You used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders, who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. Oh, that's nice of all. <laughs> and when they came, Eric, <clears throat> you came with them. Oh. I'm a Viking? You don't look like a Viking to me. So that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Wow. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Uh, please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Okay. <clears throat> Why indeed? Why did he leave them? I mean, when we were at the Viking hideout before, I mean, they had tons of loot, man. I mean, he could have, like, you know... Could have been basking in wealth.
<laughs> you like my friend, huh? Handsome statue? Really? Foreshadowing? Sort of. In a way. Toward the western gate. Sorry I ran off like that. It's just... Ah! Oh, shite. Is that... That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. <laughs> <clears throat> Empty your pockets, sniveling Sniffelheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Gildegar. All your gold belongs to us. Come on, you cluttering curs, let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. <laughs> Oh, fun. Blast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I lost all track of time. I can't tell when it's day or night anymore. are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be their doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiga, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend. You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! You think you can stop us, feeble flesh bags? You're not even worth stealing. The boss only likes two kinds of humans, gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Let's kick some freaking tail. Let's start out with some cassette. Oh yeah. We're gonna totally wreck these assholes. Uh, I might as well show off Blind Man's Biff, although it's not going to be very powerful. Just, uh, unless I get Hendrick with Dazzle. Or I get the upgraded version later. are fleeing after them <laughs> over there <laughs> Eric they've got Eric oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh, oh my gosh. how why <laughs> calm down you fucking weirdo never mind why they must be stopped quickly <laughs> <laughs> we were too slow. Oh, Eric. We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. <sighs> okay. Yeah, let's uh, bother the priest again. Absolutely. Hmm. That's pretty obvious where they're headed, man. Yes, those monsters are gonna pay for their crimes. But maybe, maybe they're just victims in all of this. Who knows? Maybe they're not so bad after all. Maybe, maybe there's a lighter side to those, to those golden undead that we were fighting. Campsite. Oh. What? Campsite? <coughs> I guess he's at the campsite. I figured he'd be back here. Whatever.
Well, at least they didn't hurt the priest and kidnap the priest. That was nice of them. Creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they be? You know, I had the very same thought. Yes, I thought they be those things as you turn to villain, but they are them. But how? How indeed? Those gold, hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. <clears throat> All right, so we can go there now, right? Ah. I don't know how super secret it is. For some reason, they had a gate hmm. before it closed and we couldn't get in. But now they're going to have it open, so we can just go right in, because they're going to be too stupid to just close it. <laughs> After coming here and getting all that nice plunder, they're just going to go back and say, Yeah, you know what, fuck it, we're just going to leave the, uh, the fucking gates open, that way any ship or whatever can just sail right in. But yeah, let's, um... Do what we gotta go do, man. Dave, or Dave, as Vondel likes to call him. Get us there, buddy. Beam us up, snotty.
Hmm. It's quiet. Maybe too quiet. Hey, Actually, they're they're bad, but do they deserve to be like fucking damned for all eternity to be like mindless monsters? No, of course not. So we're gonna help them out, even if they are kind of shady. Do it. I don't think anything different happens if you say hey, no. What the heck are you doing here? Wait, I know you. You're that rotten luminary. I think if you just say no, it's just like, okay, whenever you're ready, come back and take this shit on. I don't think you have a choice. You have to do this bit. the celebrity darling I can't say I'm not jealous this is no time for jokes Silvanto we're here to rescue Eric remember <laughs> you think you're going to plunder our plunder just try it we'll beat you blacker and bluer than the Lord of Shadows did <clears throat> yeah whatever Ourselves a skull that's worth its weight in gold. The is. All right, fun. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's get this one, man. Turns of thunder, so I love this one. Go to sleep.
Yeah, why am I not using this? <laughs> totally be using that. I guess I guess if you're dual wielding you do get like a secondary damage effect, although it looked kinda weak. Oh well, I'll take it. Sorry to leave you stewing in there, laddie. They didn't hurt you, did they? Well, you're safe now. Let's head back to Sniffelheim. The priest's worried sick about you. Aye. Something is still not right. Eric, what did those fiends do to you? I was... here. And they were... Yeah. So, she must be... I've... Gotta go. <sighs> hey, wait, man. Quit running off, alright? What was all that about, hmm? Come on, darling. We'd better get after him. Yeesh, this guy. Something around here that can jog his memory. Hmm. Oh, look at this. An Ignisol root. That's convenient. Ever since we found you freezing in that snowfield, you owe us your lives. So how about you start showing us some respect? Y yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Again? You know what your problem is, dear brother? You need to learn to grovel more convincingly. Huh? <laughs> hey, Mia. I know how you feel, though. I hate their big fat guts as much as you do. <gasps> Shh. <sighs> oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. Just hurry up and finish your work so we can go home. Tell you what, since I'm such a good sister, I'll stick around and cheer you on. 
Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> the only reason the Chief's working me so hard today is because you got caught with your hand in his coin purse. You could at least help. <laughs> Make me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> me and my big mouth. Yeah. Thanks for the help, Mia. Oh, stop moaning, will you? If you keep being horrible to me, I won't share any of my riches with you when I'm a millionaire. <sighs> Oh, not that again. Still, I guess it's good to have a dream. One of these days, we're gonna get our hands on a whole pile of treasure, and then we can wave this lousy place goodbye. <laughs> Forget a pile. I'm not gonna stop till I've got myself a mountain. <laughs> but first things first, we gotta find something to eat. Huh. If we had wings, we could fly away from here. We could go wherever we wanted. Uh, uh, what are you, five? You won't be flying anywhere on an empty stomach. Know what I think when I look at that thing? Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay. Precisely. <clears throat> Fabulous! Adorable, but fuck, kind of dumb. <laughs> Didn't know when to shut up. I picked up on today's raid. No birthday's complete without a present, right? Happy birthday, sis. Huh? Is this the best you can do? A rusty old necklace? Honestly, Eric, you need to try harder. What I really wanted was the red orb of Heliodor. Word is, it's a ruby the size of my head. Huh. Well, word is that necklace has special powers. They say that whoever wears it will find gold at their fingertips wherever they go. It's probably just talk, but it seemed about right for a little money grubber like you. I guess you'll just have to put it on and find out if... Where did you get that from? I don't know. It was a copper coin a minute ago. 
But as soon as I touched it, it... Definitely more to the story. Yeah, that's probably why maybe Eric ended up with a red orb. Because his sister wanted Darling. it. But why? Hmm. Well, let's just say that psychologically he might have been a broken man. <laughs> because of what happened. Yeah, yeah. Not a good idea to give a girl like her that kind of shit. Not gonna go well. Because <coughs> I think... I think what it is, like... The more you use it, I think it, like, speeds up the process of, like... You know, you becoming gold or some shit, or... I think that's how it's supposed to work, I don't know. That's my guess. of my treasures tell you what if you ask me really really nicely I'll let you have one let me see now um, ah perfect huh w wait you didn't did you Mia, this isn't right. Yeah, I suppose it is a little small. I forget how greedy you are. Seriously, Mia, it's not funny. This has to stop. Hey, there's no need to shout. And anyway, you're the one that gave me this thing. I get it. I guess I have been getting a little carried away. Just stop looking at me like that, will you? <sighs> I'm sorry I lost my cool, okay? It's just... <sighs> no, no. It's fine. I'll stop turning stuff into gold. For now. <laughs> 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 Huh? Uh oh, you're fucked. Why won't it? What's wrong? The necklace. It won't come off. Come on, Mia. Stop fooling around. I'm serious. I can't get it off. What? 
What's happening now? I didn't do anything, I swear! <gasps> Don't move! Yeah, man, that shit sucks. Mm. Yeah, maybe the monster stole the, uh, the statue there, huh? around about the necklace on my travels and finally found out what it was I'd given my sister a cursed relic I wanted to forget who I was and what I'd done so I threw myself into any adventure that came along and before I knew it I was living as a thief that's when I met him the guy who called himself the seer he told me to go after the orb, that if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground. And that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. At first, I didn't believe a word of it. The kind of circles I was moving in, you learn pretty quickly not to trust anyone but yourself. But sure enough, I went after the orb, I wound up underground, and... I met you. Yeah, then we jumped off a cliff and luckily we weren't smashed into a thousand pieces. Remember? <sighs> right, buddy? Let's get your memory hey, back. Buddy, laddie. Hey, hey alright. It is. Thanks to you guys. <clears throat> Guess I've been kind of a pain these last few days, huh? I'll make it up to you, I promise. Days? It's been like a week and a half, buddy. 
Who knows if I'll ever find the forgiveness the seer promised me. But everything else he said came true. Maybe that will too. You saw it, right? The statue my sister turned into was right here. If this Gildigger guy is collecting all the gold he can get his hands on, maybe he took her too. I heard those golden goons saying he's holed up in a castle north of here. I'm gonna get me a back if it's the last thing I do. Then it looks like we're all headed the same way. After all, we've got some Sniffleheimers to rescue, right? Hmm. Thanks again, you guys. It's good to be back. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, um, Eric rejoins. I'm still certain, I'm still pretty certain that, uh, he doesn't have any, uh, like, oh wait. Oh no, oh, I guess he does remember all the ones he used to know. Cool, we can use Eric again. How about that? Well, let's hook him up. Okay, and then after this next sequence here, then we'll be unlocking like all this shit. Like up here, and then all this stuff down here. Alright. So let's hook him up with some skills. Eh? Yeah, boomerangs for sure. chance for the time being because I want to make sure I can get uh, over here and get the vibe and make sure I can get that right I'm gonna go with deafness over agility for the time being I just want to pick this up. Hmm. I don't know yet. Or do I just want to go for agility? Or do I want to get this? Dodgy character. I don't know. I don't use this very often. It's supposed to, I don't know, help with your fucking evade chance. I forgot exactly what it is. If you know, drop it in the comment section. I've never used it. I just use gear and all the other passives, like this one right here. It doesn't matter what weapon you have equipped. If you if you get this uh, this passive right here, it applies like you know to all the weapons that you can equip with Eric. So yeah, this one obviously you want to unlock. Um, and other than that, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna save my points for when we actually do unlock this shit. I mean, because I'm gonna want to unlock. What's up here, man? Best boomerang skill. And uh, obviously with knives, I'm going to want to pick up the critical passive. So yeah, lots of good stuff later. But at least we can fucking use Eric now. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, let's go with the pillion mask. Not the vest. Something better than gloomy gloves. Yeah, I think this next boss uses fucking dark attacks. So I might as well give him a devil tail. It's gonna give you Eric. Ponytail, nah. Wish I had another trickster. I give him one of those. I guess I'll give him gloomy gloves. There you go, buddy. That should work well. Say her name. She's her name is worse than Voldemort. She is pure evil. How wonderful. Pure evil. That's why I'm looking forward to going in there and kicking her ass this time. It's gonna happen. I am not gonna fuck around when I go in there. Anyway, um, yeah, the Gilden Hall is up this way. It's a big golden fucking castle. I hate this place. I hate it. Kick ass. Yeah, you can fight skeletons. Uh, some other shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be coming back to these areas with all the characters later and doing best area stuff and better item scouring. But I like doing that with the full party. Fender fangs, ice claws, avalanche axes. Okay, that's cool. New weapons. Fun weapons, maybe. I don't know. Fun to show off later on in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain this place does not get added to the uh, zoom list. But, oh, look at that. It's going to open up for us. Almost like it wants us to go inside.
Yeah. Yeah, the closest place you can zoom is a Viking hideout, which is no big deal. I mean, it's not like you gotta worry about encounters or anything. So, that's all for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. The next episode, we'll be exploring the Gilden Hall. We'll be taking on my most hated boss in the game, Gildega. I hate Gildega. I hate her. She is a bitch. But I'm going to whoop her ass this time. See you next time. Bye-bye.